back on trail. Good morning. We're about a half mile in on the day and it's going to be a long 13 mile dry stretch. So we're gonna make sure all our water bottles and filter bags are full of water to carry up there. Happy trails. You can't really tell how steep this is, but I will share my general observation with you. It's steep. <laughs> we have our big climb early this morning and that's totally fine with me. I prefer the climb in the morning to a climb after lunch. <sighs> Tough time of day anyway for me. I really want to nap, but then having your body digest all that food that you ate and then also regulate some blood to circulation as you go up, it's always a challenge. So. I'd rather do up in the morning and then a big down all afternoon. That's kind of my preferred travel route. And so in order to do that, we are traveling Sobo today. Uh, we got shuttled up to Peter's Trailhead, Peter's Mountain Trailhead. And now we're heading Sobo back to town to the cemetery where the car is waiting for us. So a lot of super cool rock features the past couple days. And we'll show you some cool things. Thanks for coming on our adventure. Hello. Good morning. All right, 17 until dinner. Not. Not. We are officially in West Virginia. So the Appalachian Trail doesn't technically count this section as being West Virginia because it's so little that it just hugs the border and crisscrosses, just kind of like Tennessee and North Carolina did forever and ever. But this is officially West Virginia and I have the border to prove it, so. There you go, you got hooks, I'm sorry. Far Out says that we are in West Virginia, so I have officially hit my fifth state on the Appalachian Trail, even though most of the West Virginia miles are hundreds of miles north of here, I'm still counting it because we're in West Virginia for like a few hundred yards. It can count, right? It can count. I'm counting it, I'm counting it. Take me home, country road, to the place I belong. Where's the whoa? <laughs> I almost tripped. I almost tripped myself from my dragon balls. <laughs> That's what the, the earth was like. Um, please stop. Please stop. Okay, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. All right, we did that first big climb of 1500. So we're kind of up on the ridge. I love that for us. We do have a couple more like little up bumps, but it's nice to be a pie again. Did all the hard work. Now we can enjoy it. just ate my first avocado of the overnight. I have one more for tomorrow. I was gonna tell you a funny story. So at breakfast, we're sitting down with, with Warren Doyle, which is just amazing. And think about all the times he's hiked to the Appalachian Trail, 18 times um, with different groups. And then he's also done really cool things like 
than the crew for people trying to get the fastest known time. So he'll do Sarah Baker's run later this summer. We've already talked about him on this trip. Can't believe we met him. Um, but, you know, his little old guy driving these two cars up today. I'm like, God, that guy looks like Warren Doyle. And he gets up and he's standing there and we're going around this circle and everyone's introducing themselves and saying what they're grateful for. And he's like, hi, my name's Warren. And I just went, oh! and then I whispered to the girl next to me, I said, is that Warren Doyle? And she said, yes. And I couldn't believe it. And then I was like, oh, I'll get his picture right after the circle and no one else will know it's him. And then Neville, who runs the whole hostel, is like, y'all know we have someone legendary here, right? And then introduces him and tells everybody his accolades. And I was like, dang it, I'm never going to get a picture with him now. Because everybody's going to want a picture with him. And then we're all trying to eat breakfast. So I'll be the annoying person that asks. But he was really kind to give some photographs after when I asked. So to me and a couple other people. But fun story, I asked him about Kristen Morgan. And I said, how, you know, how was that? And he said, yeah, it's his fifth attempt. Hope he doesn't choke. And I just... Just lost it laughing. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is the world record holder for the southbound fastest known time. And Warren Doyle's like, hmm, hope he doesn't choke. <laughs> it takes a lot to impress Warren Doyle. So, today was fun before we even started hiking. <laughs> working our way up to the first view of the day, which I'm excited about. I don't know, it's like half a mile or so, but couldn't figure out why we're dragging today. We did like an 11 mile day and a 14 mile day. Yesterday ended up being 14 total miles. And um, today is only 12. We're dragging. And then I realized we're carrying heavy packs, and that's why, that's why we feel so kind of worn out. It's because we were slack packing those days in a really lovely manner, and now our packs are like 10 to 15 pounds heavier. So that explains that you know 10 to 15 pounds really impacts your day. My Fitbit is buzzing me right now, telling me that we have hit. 21,000 steps so still got a ways to go but um, it's beautiful and really looking forward to getting to the campsites because that's maybe the first actual water we see since we began three tents up the trail we got water at that shelter and that's it been it it's been the whole water all day so it's hard to ration your four liters when it's hot out and you're going uphill. I know. Now this is the view that was behind us, but we didn't know as we were plowing up this hill. So we just came down from over there. But yeah, that's beautiful. Hopefully that's not the only view. We'll see. Whew.
Amy. You can put music to this, okay? I feel kind of white! <laughs> Entering construction site. Okay. Oh boy. This is interesting. I shouldn't that read. Road closed. Legitimately thought that was a velociraptor. Like from far away. It's just a log, but like, oh, that was, that was crazy. There is a popular saying on trail called the trail provides. And we were just thinking like back there, like, oh, should we sit on this log? And then we kept, let's keep moving. And then we got to here and we saw these little seats and we're like, okay, that's a sign. Take a break. Um, trying to get into camp. I think we have like a mile and a half left. It's been a long day. We've done at least nine miles with full packs and, or overnight packs. And, um, it's, there's a window of rain rolling through in about 12 minutes for the next two hours, which is like right when we'd want to set up and have dinner. So, oh, okay. I'm going to surrender that to God. We would like a nice dry camp spot, dinner, and then we'll jump in, you know, to the tents for bedtime. Then it can rain. Let's do that. Let's have that plan. Okay. Love you. Bye.